Yep, welcome to this episode of Love Summon. And right now we are heading off to Camden Hills State Park in Camden, Maine. Yes, it's a perfect day to tow and we are looking forward to some lobster. Yes, uh, this is a state park I've been wanting to go to for a long time. You know, Camden is your quintessential kind of touristy seacoast town. And um, we've heard there's a nice overlook. So stay tuned, hope it'll be interesting. Yep, hope you enjoy it. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our campsite at Camden Hill State Park in Camden, Maine. We are at site number six, which is a water and electric site. You can see the roads are in pretty good condition. The back end wasn't too bad at all. Even trees, though so. There were some big trees we had to watch, but it was a kind of a good smooth curve in, so no big deal there. That was quite easy. So what do we got here, see? So the only bad part about this site is it's slightly, it's, it's, it's pretty unlevel actually. We've got three blocks here Let's take a look at that. on our left side to level us out. We're not quite level side to side and we are a little nose high just because you didn't put the plate down that we did. Right, if you like out my, this video here, I have this awesome plate that allows me whenever it's super low like this, but I had already put that stand on and it was just a scooch to uh, nose high, so we decided to leave it. Yep, so nothing nothing too bad. And we have a nice picnic table with a little interesting feature. Comment below if you understand or can guess why this sort of sticks out like this. We had our guesses. Yep, we definitely have our theory. Yep, and it's a very right. nice shaded spot. You can see the nice huge trees. Very nice shaded spot. That occasionally drop an acorn on yeah, us. Yeah, we occasionally bounce an acorn off the top, but as long as it's on the top and not on the front or end caps, I have no problem with that. And we have Airstream Company. Right, there's four Airstreams at this park, which is kind of crazy. So we're going to take a walk around later on tonight and check them out. Okay, this is a water and electric site. So uh, let's just check out the water quality with our meter. And it looks like we're at about 90 ppm total dissolved solids. That's pretty good. So um, I'd say the water quality here is 90, 91. That's pretty good. It's pretty good here. One of so the better ones. Not bad. Electric is actually for a state park pretty cool. You've got 30 amp, 50 amp, and 20 amp. So I'm hooked up to the 30. So I guess that depends on whether you're a big RV or a medium sized RV or a tenter. Right, this uh, site here is certified or recommended for RVs 30 feet or less. The auto former is not boosting, I can see that here, and that means the power is good. Of course, and we're so, not running air conditioner. What, how, what's the temperature? Yeah, it's like in the 70s. It's absolutely perfect. It's gorgeous. So, um, you know, overall, a pretty nice uh, state park. And I'd say only a small percentage have power so or water so you know there's a lot of tenters which is kind of cool adds to the kind of rustic ambiance of maine which is nice so what would you say about the wi-fi well they, they that's the extra benefit because most state parks don't have wi-fi so here they have limited wi-fi so i would say it's pretty, probably just for emails and really basic searching in the internet i'm not sure it's good for youtube and Netflix or anything like well, that. I wouldn't say I'm not sure it's good for YouTube. I would guarantee it's not good for YouTube seeing that we tried seven hours yesterday to upload the video. Well, but they only allow you uh, the Wi-Fi service for two devices and they give you two different codes. And yep. So, uh, but that's better than nothing. And exactly. when we have very low uh, service, uh, cellular service, it's a nice benefit. And so one of the things that we use to help our Wi-Fi is our Wi-Fi Ranger, which is boost a Wi-Fi booster. And right now we've got a temporary mount for it, but I will be installing hopefully a permanent mount next year. I think that's next year's project. Yeah. I'm gonna put this a permanent year's mount was for. Sealing the roof. What's that? This year's project was sealing the roof. Yeah. That was a big one. Right. The next year's project will be cutting holes in the roof. So. Cutting holes in the roof. Well, we'll hopefully not have to do that. I think the wiring might be a nightmare. The right. Wiring is gonna be a nightmare. Feeding it through, but we'll see. Okay, no trip to Maine would be complete without some type of lobster roll, lobster shack. And you know that that's one of the things that we always love doing is checking out uh, divey kind of lobster shacks. And this place looks like it meets the bill, huh? It does. It looks like your window and you pick it up and you take it out to a nice little outdoor table. So that sounds like a perfect solution for lunch. I think that's what we're going to do. And of course, yep. 
these seem to be required everywhere in Maine, even outside. Yep. So we'll check That's it all out. Right. We'll check it out. So as far as both socially distancing goes, we have to stand on these little lobsters to keep six feet apart. That's pretty cool, huh? Maine social distancing. So I got the lobster roll with chips. Yep. Cindy got the the fish tacos with a cold slaw underneath, a lime cilantro creme, and a blueberry pico de gallo is what they said. So I think that goes with the uh, chips here. So it looks spectacular. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Mm, that's How is it, see? A little drippy off the back, but the slaw is nice and crisp. The, the uh, fish has a very nice crisp uh, coating on it, but it's not too greasy. I think this is going to be a better fish taco for you than the one we had at the other place in uh, East Wakefield. And you can't beat. Our view is pretty decent here, right on the water. It's interesting that factory in the back. I wonder what that is. It's got prime real estate. You can see there's probably a Bay Class Coast Guard cutter, a uh, Bay Class buoy tender, probably. What a great view for lunch. So, see, what are you, what are you doing to the lobster roll? Uh, I'm picking out a piece because it looks so delicious. Oh my gosh, look how big these pieces of lobster are in this. Yeah, that's that's uh, pretty serious right there. That is a serious lobster roll. So. I'm stealing a piece. This looks like a piece from the claw. Mmm. That's very good. And of course, blueberry lemonade and a souvenir glass. So you can see I've donated a huge amount of lobster to Cindy because, well, I did that. It's lightly mayonnaise. You can have it either mayonnaise or with butter. It's $21 and let's go ahead and see. It's perfectly toasted New England lobster roll. You're pretty much an expert on lobster rolls, right? Not bad. We, we've tried them like a lot of different places. Yeah, it's excellent. Absolutely a lot of lobster meat in there. Um, I kind of like a little bit of lettuce at the bottom. That probably could have made this perfect. Otherwise, I love it. Okay, we're here in Camden, Maine, and you can see what the seacoast little towns look like. Of Maine looks like in a pandemic. It looks on a Wednesday. Just the amount of traffic and people is crazy. Well, this is August, so this is prime uh, Maine vacation. True. Tourism. So, here we are. Let's check things out. The whole point of going into Camden that afternoon was to get some sweet drone shots of the beautiful harbor that's there. Unfortunately, the overexposure and take crappy video button must be right next to the takeoff button because this is how it turned out. Oh well, live and learn. In a little boat that I'll rent Ain't got nothing but time to kill No vacation's been more heaven since So we're on top of Bat Batty Mount. Is yep. And there should be some gorgeous views of Camden from up here. We've completed the grueling one mile drive up the mountain. And we're gonna be rewarded. Looks like there's like a little uh castle, castle or fortress up here. Yeah. I'm gonna check it out. So this monument was built to commemorate the people who sacrificed their lives in World War One. From the town of Camden. Pretty cool. Very nice. We had a great time here in Maine, didn't we? It's been fun. 
We've had a great time. So if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up and click the subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hey, we just hit 2,000. Yay! Thank you so much. If you have a comment, we would love to hear from you. If you've been to Maine, what's your favorite place to go? Because we come out with RV and Airstream related videos every Tuesday. Thanks for watching. And we're smiling behind the mask. You can't tell, but we are. <laughs>